How's it going guys? Today I'm gonna to try to turn this Italian cypress into a topiary like this boxwood is. So I picked this topiary spiral up in April at Green Acres Nursery. It was my birthday present to myself and I spent way too much money on it. Um, I have the tag right here and I spent $175 on one plant. That is part of the reason that I haven't planted it yet is because um, I'm scared. <laughs> It's $175 in one plant, and I've never spent that much on a single plant in my entire life. And I felt kind of crazy doing it, but it was for my birthday. So I have been just babying this thing, and now it's a little too late to plant it. It's a little too late into summertime as we're starting that. So I have this Italian cypress that is absolutely massive right now. You guys can see. Um, it's huge. And this is actually something that I think I paid, I don't know, $15 for. Um, I bought it last year and I put it in the landscape and I didn't like it. So then I pulled it out of the landscape and I've just had it in this nursery container. And I'm going to try to turn this into a spiral type topiary also. I see um, Italian cypress trained as topiary all the time. So I know it's possible, but I have never done it. So we're going to try to do that today. First off, I have this one and it's perfect because it is on a single liter right here. So there's one stem and there's not like, you can see this guy here kind of not the best, but because it's boxwood, it doesn't matter. There are two stems in here. There's one there and one there. And really the longevity of the plant, I don't think this will last, you know, 10, 15 years where this will definitely take to that because there's one stem. This is gonna be two plants right here that are fighting for um, root space and they're just really, really close together. Um, so we're gonna try to turn this into a topiary also and see what happens. So first thing I have are some pretty large snips. Um, I just went in and sharpened them so the blade is nice and sharp. And then I also have these ones, these are a curved snip and these are actually my preferred method for pretty much everything in the garden. I love these, these are by Corona. They're the Corona AG4940. Um, I have a link to them in the description down below. But the plan here is to kind of come in and like cut some stuff off and see if I can turn this into a spiral. It's probably not gonna look the best because one, this is my first time doing it and two, it will definitely need to fill out. So like I said, it's a little late in the year to probably be doing any of this, um, but I figured for a plant that's just sitting there anyways, let's just try it. So I've got the shape of the tree. You can see it's got like a little bit of like a curve to it and that's okay. Um, I'm gonna try to just kind of like push some of this soil down in this container, make it so it's a little bit tighter in here. And that should kind of fix the curve. There we go. So that is perfect. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with these little guys and see how it goes. And I'm, I like the curved one and I have the curve pointing down on it. And I think the plan is just to kind of go like this and go up as I go on a curve. And this will just get my basic shape. So, oh my gosh, first cut, scary. I think we're gonna start first cut here because it's kind of thin so that way this can fill out. And we're just gonna come in here. Let me, let me move the camera. So first cut, I'm gonna follow this section right here. And we're just gonna go and work our way up.
really don't think it looks that bad for my first time ever doing topiary. But I'm at this dilemma point where you guys can see here on the top, I can either end it to come here like this point and I can cut this leader off right here so it just ends and that way it looks like an actual spiral going around or I leave it because I want it to continue to grow. This is the leader branch so this is what's going to continue to grow up. Um, if I cut it off it's not going to grow any taller than this. It'll just kind of start bushing out a little bit. So I'm at the point of figuring out what do I want to do. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it for five minutes and then come back to it and look at it with a fresh set of eyes to see where I'm at and see what else needs shaping. So I'm gonna take a five minute break because it is hot out here, but you know what? Look at that. I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out so far. Um, it just needs like a little bit more shaping here, but I think overall I've got the like structure and the shape of this thing pretty much set. So I think for my first time doing topiary, um, I'm not mad at it. Okay, it's been a few minutes and I think I've decided we're gonna cut the top off of this guy. <laughs> it looks so weird. So it's gotta go. It's getting hot and I wanna be done with this project. I am really happy with how it's turned out. Um, but let's just cut the top off of this. So I think it's just gonna end. <laughs> well, it looks better, but I mean, that looked weird. <laughs> I know that topiaries like have patience with it, but look at that. I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. I could have left it. I could have been patient with it, um, but the rest of it already looked so good. All of this looks really good right now, and I'm really happy with how that has turned out. I think leaving it would have driven me a little bit crazy, so it, it had to get cut off. Had it all kind of looked like it needed some time and some you know patience then i probably would have been fine leaving it and letting it fill out but the fact that like i was able to actually get this to all look like a spiral topiary is so crazy to me um first time doing this i'm pretty proud of myself i literally had no clue what, what i was doing but i figured you know i kind of started down here at this like bottom section and just kind of like went with a spiral and I made a pretty hard line in it and I think using these to get that like first initial line in there was really helpful to get a lot of that bulk out but then going in and refining it with this and just you know getting off these little guys and I loved having the curve of this it kind of made it so I could go in here and it gave me the curve that it needed to soften the edge up along the topiary like this instead of it having that harsh line this here is a green mountain boxwood you can see how full and lush it is it's super beautiful um and the spiral on it is really nice but this is obviously so much taller and this is going to grow so much faster than this boxwood grows so i think having the spiral for this guy um i'll be able to use this in a different area of garden and have this um i think the comparison you know look at that i think i did pretty good I'm proud of myself. <laughs> so you guys can see, you know, this topiary that I just did, it still feels a little bit harsh in some areas, um, but obviously this is a brand new topiary, so it'll fill out as time goes on. Whereas this is probably a, this is probably a couple years old, honestly, boxwoods are such slow growers. I really think that this is going to help bring that sense of like formal, formalness to my garden that I've really been wanting. The vibe that I kind of go for here is I guess like, cottage formal garden <laughs> which they totally contradict each other um but i do want to start adding more topiary and i want to start adding more boxwood and i want to start adding more elegance to the garden instead of just planting as much as i can plant and giving it that cottage vibe um which i really feel like it mostly had a cottage vibe with like slight touches of formal but i would like to start adding topiaries here and there and i would like to start adding a little bit more like structured statuary and maybe some borders of to of boxwood i think that that would be really pretty um if i am able to figure out a way to get my hand on about a million boxwoods then maybe that's what i'll do but i think for a first time doing topiary and for a tree that cost me like 20 bucks totally worth it and i will probably have a new obsession with topiary um 
as you guys saw, I also had the obsession with Espalier when I did the Espalier defense with Janie just a couple of weeks ago. So really happy with how this turned out. Um, I hope that maybe it's inspired some of you guys to go out there and not be scared of it. It was so much easier than I thought. The first cut was definitely the hardest. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.